On the streets of Accra are poorly clothed and malnourished children who are busily seen begging for alms. Some risk their lives just to maneuver through thick traffic with persons with disability for the little they can get. They could easily be spotted even in prime areas like the airport city, the central business district and along the Liberation Road in the heart of the capital, Accra. Many of them are children of migrants, others are orphans or from broken homes, neglected and left to wander about. The sad aspect is societal prejudice and constant abuse meted out to them. Troubling of this situation is the tribulations of the girls among them. They are bullied by the elderly and sometimes their money is collected from them. They sleep at open spaces behind the Marina Mall in Airport City, Tema Station Bus Terminal, and also at Spana Junction, located within the Tetequashi Interchange, even during rainy seasons. It is at some of these places that these vulnerable girls are sexually harassed. With time, it graduates from the harassment. 11-year-old Ama, whose real name we've kept for safety reasons, tells me how another male fellow defiled her at the beach recently. Oh, yeah, then. Oh, yeah, then. Oh. And there was yet another encounter with her. This time round, defiled by an elderly man. As though what we've heard was not enough, stories of sexual encounters involving their female friends were narrated to corroborate the assertion. One way to get these girls for sex is to give them money. With as low as 50 pesos, which is less than a dollar, the men could easily have these girls for a night. Another way is by leasing their drinks with a drug called Tulamo. In 1990, Ghana became the first nation in the world to ratify the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child. They then followed it up with the Children's Act 560. These legal frameworks, together with others like the Criminal Code Amendment Act, are supposed to safeguard the interests of children. But unfortunately, 
That hasn't been the case yet for these neglected kids. It is one that is a sad spectacle, one that we need to deal with as a country, and uh, one that we shouldn't adopt the usual approach where we try to do something but uh, does not necessarily go to the core of addressing the issue. So I believe this plight of the children, sad as it is, deserves the full attention that leadership needs to give to it. As these vulnerable girls are constantly abused, they risk contracting sexually transmitted diseases and some may even become pregnant in the process. Clearly, their future looks bleak if something is not immediately done to rescue, rehabilitate and give them a proper start in life. It is the expectation that the Ministry of Gender, Children and Social Protection, as well as other philanthropic organizations would intervene to assist these children, particularly the girls, who are gradually being turned into sex toys, even at the early age of 10. A stitch in time saves nine. From Accra, this is Gabriel Obodai Togwashon reporting for Metro News.